Crash Team Storms with DroidMotorX.com, and I've been getting a lot of requests for the Viper ROM on the Droid DNA, so I figured I'd give it a try. It looks to be the very most customizable ROM uh, from the thread in the forums, and you know what? I have to say it is probably one of the most customizable ROMs that I've ever seen running on any device, but hands down for the Droid DNA, this is the most customizable ROM. Uh, this includes just list and list and list of themable things. Uh, just for example, I'll show you my keyboard that is themed that was something extra uh, it comes with this wallpaper that's themed here so we've got a viper wallpaper you can actually load this wallpaper but there's also some settings here uh, where you can choose to toggle fog and falling objects and you can choose what kind of falling objects that you want to see you can change the all kinds of colors uh, you can change text that are on the wallpaper. You can choose to show the clock and the battery level notifications there at the top. If we go back, this is kind of what you get. Uh, so it's pretty cool that you can customize all these things here. I'll go ahead and turn that stuff off because that's obviously battery killers. Uh, that's the fog and the falling objects are things that will kill your battery pretty quickly. So from there, we'll jump into the settings. I'll show you that I am running the latest version here, 1.2.0. And we'll go to About Phone and Software Information. Uh, I'm running Android 4.1.1, which is what this is based on. And uh, the software number is Viper DNA 1.2.0. Uh, so we'll say that this ROM is very fast. And it is stable. Uh, if you have S off like I do, then the ROM installer installs the boot image for you, which includes the custom kernel. Uh, so it does that for you automatically. You no longer have to install the boot night image via ADB, which makes things so much easier. Uh, we'll get into more of the custom settings here. Uh, so you have Venom Hub, which is where you can choose all kinds of things. You can choose icon packs for scents. So as you guys saw, uh, the red theme is what I chose from the Aroma Installer, and it includes all of these icons, but you can choose any icon pack that you want here from a list, a very long list of icon packs. The only drawback is that you do have to download all the customizations, so every time you want to customize something, you'll have to grab them from the internet, but that also means that they are uh, infinitely interchangeable as the developers decide to update the different things, and then they can add things to it so you're not stuck with any one set of features as this stuff is constantly updated. While that's downloading, another thing that I did want to mention is that in the Aroma Installer, which we'll get to later, you can kind of customize your ROM, so you can choose uh, as many HTC elements as you want or as many AOSP elements. In fact, you can make this ROM look like stock jelly bean uh, from the installer. You don't even have to have the rosy launcher. You can have an AOSP launcher. Um, I kind of like the HTC launcher, so I kind of stuck with that. But it's really up to you. Whatever you choose is what you get. You can choose as many HTC applications as you want, or you can choose to remove all the HTC applications and go strictly with AOSP applications. Uh, it's kind of up to you with this ROM. So not only is this ROM very fast, very stable, uh, and has some pretty good battery life, but it also is just one of the most customizable ROMs available uh, for any Android device today. Okay, so you guys can see all the different icon packages to choose from. You go with 3D Red, which would go with my red theme. Uh, there's the Crossfade Dark Red. Uh, let's just take a look at the 3D Red. Okay, so you kind of get a preview of what that would look like, and we'll go ahead and download that. And then I'll show you guys real quickly how to apply that once it's downloaded. Something else that I just noticed that's really, really neat. Um, in the settings, in the pull-down menu, uh, you can see right here in the pull-down notification, it shows you uh, the percentage that each core is currently running. So my first core right now is running 11%. My other three cores are not being used at all. I just thought that was really a neat inclusion. Uh, but we'll go back to the ROM review. Okay, so once the custom icon theme is installed, uh, once it's downloaded, you'll click install. It's going to install the icon pack. To apply that, you'll go back to uh, the Venom Tweaks. And we'll choose Sense. And we'll go to Icon Packs. And we'll choose our new 3D red icon theme. So now when we go home, we should get a whole new set of icons, 
and I mean it is infinitely customizable just like you saw there we can go back to the Venom Hub and there's all kinds of stuff that we can download here uh, skins for sense themes for the status bar keyboard skin status bar logos operator logos backgrounds fonts add-ons and uh, just all kinds of stuff and like I said we'd sit here probably for an hour or more just looking at all the additional stuff that you can install on top of the ROM uh, so that's what makes this ROM totally unique plus you guys can see just how fast it moves through the screens incredibly fast incredibly stable and uh, all around just a really good ROM so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and install this uh, the way you want to do that is reboot into recovery so we'll hit the power button uh, here we have a totally uh, revamped reboot menu so we can click restart and recovery uh, if you do not have a custom ROM already installed the way that you would reboot into recovery is just select reboot and then you'd hold down uh, the volume down button until the bootloader pops up and then you would choose recovery from there but we're just going to go straight into the recovery okay so once we're in recovery uh, depending on your recovery if you're in clockwork mod recovery aroma should be able to handle the wipes during the install uh, here we're going to go ahead and wipe data since we're in twerp i suggest you do this anyway so we'll go ahead and hit wipe factory reset swipe to wipe we'll go back cache swipe to wipe back davit cache swipe to wipe back now we're going to go ahead and install the ROM. Uh, so we'll be able to find the ROM in our download folder. We're looking for Viper DNA 1.2.0 and make sure that's what you're flashing there. Now this should take us into the Aroma installer. Okay, so we'll go ahead and select next. And we'll go ahead and select next. This is just the change log. It shows all the updates to 1.2.0. And we'll go ahead and agree to the terms of use. And I'm on Verizon. So you just choose your provider there. Uh, I'm in North America, so we'll select North America. And I want to go with the uh, Decent launcher. Actually, you know what? I'll go with the Rosie launcher. And this is where we kind of get to customize and pick and choose what we like. Uh, so here we'll just kind of select the applications that we do like. So I'll go with the music app, calendar app, contacts. I'll go with all of these uh, just because I prefer the AOSP experience over the TouchWiz. And we'll install our theme. Okay, here we can uh, choose the apps that we'd like to remove. So I'll go with Flickr, Amazon Shopping, Zappos, uh, Jet Set Print. And you can just kind of pick and choose the ones that you would like to remove. Of course, it has all of the bloatware uh, pre selected. And we'll head to next. And now it's going to go ahead and install the ROM. So we'll go ahead and let it do its thing. As soon as it finishes, we'll reboot the device. So while this is installing, if your device is S off, uh, then the actual installer will go ahead and install the kernel as well. Uh, it's going to just go ahead and install that boot image. If you were not S off, so if you were just unlocked, with the custom recovery installed once you're finished installing this you'll need to go ahead and install the boot image via adb okay so once it says we're done we're just going to go ahead and hit the next button and click finish and hit reboot and that's going to go ahead and reboot our device into the viper rom So I'll leave you guys with the Viper ROM boot animation. Uh, this has been the Viper ROM review and installation guide. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Droid DNA and other devices. Uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Check out more of me at DroidModerX.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.